So this monsoon season's been crazy, hasn't it? A lot of rain. It's coming down now. We're about to find out whether this overflow works or not. I'm gonna go check out the water level in the cistern. You may or may not be happy with the prognosis. I gotta know. Oh my goodness. Gracious. That is crazy. He doesn't seem to mind the rain too much. You doing okay with the rain? <laughs> so with all this rain we've been getting, a lot of people have been asking us, how much water is in your cistern? It is something I've been avoiding. One, I don't like going into the cistern more than I have to. I just don't like opening it up. It gives an opportunity for light to get in, gives an opportunity for debris to get in. So I try not to open any of these water containers any more than I have to. But I think I am going to check because we have been getting a lot of water and I am kind of curious. Now, I also have been hesitating because I'm just a little afraid to see. I just don't think that there's going to be a ton of water in there. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see what's in there. And I have a plan to possibly increase how much water we get into the cistern when the poly tanks overflow. So let's check this out. It does look like the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. That is crazy. There's definitely a lot more water in here than last time. So the good news is there's definitely more than there used to be in there. It looks like it's a finally above the pipeline. But with all this water we've been getting, I think it should be a lot higher. So I have an idea. I'm going to make some changes. When we do get those rains and we do get that overflow, I think a lot more should be going into the cistern. So let me get started. It's just a few quick additions and I think we'll be seeing a lot more water in this cistern. Look at the size of some of these mushrooms out here. That is incredible. Yuvia says she's gonna help uh, Jess with the uh, lime plaster, or no, <laughs> what are you doing? A lime wash. Yuvia, I thought you were gonna help mom. Oh, she's peeing, right in the work area. You realize she had a uh, whole field to pee in like a minute ago and she chose to pee by the saws. So first up is this pipe over here. And although water does come out of this pipe and the entrance into the cistern is pretty close, I'm just gonna cut it and shorten it up. That way it goes directly or almost directly from this overflow into the cistern. I'm also gonna do that for the other overflow on the other pipe. But this one first, because this one's easier. <laughs> Mountain climber Jess. Uh, this looks a lot safer than before when you were just like, had your feet in the handle holes there. Yeah. You don't regret me taking down those boards now, do you? No. It's like, take down them boards, they're in my way. <laughs> All right, so now that I got this pipe cut, I'm gonna assemble this and I'm gonna do it without gluing. Just cause I wanna get everything in place, kinda see how things look before making it permanent. And now that I got this 90 degree elbow on here, I'm gonna cut a length of pipe. I think I'm gonna get it pretty close to the drain here. So let's make this about 29 inches or so. Let's see how 30 looks. I can always cut an inch off or so. <laughs> <laughs> Eva's excited to be out here while I'm working. You taking that? Is that one yours? <laughs> Apparently she's going to be doing her own water harvesting project. This isn't a three inch PVC pipe. This is about all I could find though. So I might have to like tape that up or something to kind of secure it. But otherwise I think this should work nicely. It's 
She Uvia found herself a new toy. Now what you gonna do with it? All right, well Jess is busy working her butt off trying to uh, <laughs> trying to climb Mount Everest. Getting the lime wash on top of the dome. Meanwhile, I got some things I want to do. It looks like it could rain any time now. And all of our IBC totes are full. I got to do something with this water. If it does rain, I got to give it some place to drain to. So while I was out picking up supplies, I picked this up. And I want to use this instead of the RV hoses that we've been using. This is supposed to be like a non-kink hose. Uh, drinking water safe. So I thought it might be easier to kind of roll out in between our water tanks and the RV and then roll it back up so it's not sitting out in the sun degrading. And I figure if we're going to continue with the RV hoses, I would probably need to wrap them in that foam, tape it together. There'd be some things I need to do in order to kind of get those situated. So I thought this might be good to get water from the tanks over to the RV. I could use the RV hoses for something else. Well, I'm kind of disappointed with this. It says it's the number one expandable hose used. Uh, it just did not work for us. I don't know if it's the low water pressure we have here. Even with the pump, it just uh, did not put enough water through here in order to actually kind of make it worth it and to even stretch it from the poly tanks over to the RV, which is not 100 feet. It was, it was a challenge. So instead of using this as our primary water hose from the poly tanks to the RV, I'm going to try to use this as a supplementary hose. We'll see how that works. But that will strictly be gravity fed, so it should be interesting to see if it works for that. Well, this might not be all bad. If I can use this kind of gravity feed and maybe not a very long distance, maybe it won't be too bad. UV is around here somewhere and I'm trying to keep an, keep an eye on her. Could rain any minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I want to drain water from this IBC tote over here by the house. Kind of full, so if I can get this attached and then I'll drain the water over to our infiltration basin over here. Might as well feed the tree, you know? And, uh, well, give it a little extra water and give us a room in the tote. So I didn't have a gator lock on here. I got my gator lock on. I got my hose attachment, so we're ready to go here. I'm just gonna turn it on and we'll see if we can gravity feed through this hose. Well, this clearly does not work very well with no pressure. Well, I'm very disappointed in uh, that hose. I need just more water pressure than we have out here, so lesson learned on that. I had to bring out this hose, which is pretty heavy, kind of unwieldy, and it does have a hole somewhere in it, so I'll just see if it works. But uh, basically, I gotta drain this tote a little bit. Oh, there we go. We'll just let that drain out. We'll drain a uh, bunch of water from that IBC tote, and we'll be ready to collect some more. Hey there, UV. Look at that little bow. <laughs> you gonna check on the tote with me? You gonna check on the tote? I drained this tote almost halfway. So I put 75 gallons in this infiltration basin. You can tell it's filling up nicely. I think we'll cut it off here. Just giving it a little breathing room in case we get some more rain and we can fill the rest of this up, probably fill it up pretty quickly. All right, y'all, UV and I are in the car. I got the little cage up just to make things a little easier to uh, travel, but uh, this will be her first visit to the vet. She seems like she's got that eye irritation, so we're gonna get that checked out. All right, wish me luck. We're coming up to a bunch of cows on the road. I'm kind of interested to see how you'll be our racks to all of that. Crew would lose his mind. <laughs> Let's see how Yuvia does. Apparently 
she doesn't care for the cows either. <laughs> it's a stampede. <laughs> She didn't like that, but uh, crew would have absolutely lost his mind. It would have been uh, a lot more ferocious than that. <laughs> oh, look, there's like one straggler coming. <laughs> Yumi, you did a good job with the checkup. You did a good job. Well, we just had the checkup. They suggested some eye drops. We're gonna take some eye drops home and hopefully we'll get this cleared up in a couple of days. Well, we are on our way home from the vet. Uh, man, it was it was a little bit of an adventure. It went pretty well for the most part. Yeah, she was excited to see all the people. She was excited to see all the dogs. Um, until we got to, until a bigger dog came in and then she didn't care for that. She did a little barking, but um, otherwise it went pretty good. She's tuckered out from her adventure. Yeah, sleeping like a baby. Well, we're back. You may or may not be happy with the prognosis. Uh -oh. We're gonna somehow have to manage to give her eye drops three times a day. As you can see, I got my pipes in place that the overflow should go into, but there's a pretty good chance of rain today. So we'll see if we can get any footage of how this is working. I gotta know. Man, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, I gotta soak in these days while we can. You know, this summer has just been absolutely amazing with uh, all the rain we've been getting and the cloudy days. Uh, it's really made for a very mild summer. You know, we had some 100 degree days. We've even had quite a few days in the 90s. Overall, it's been really nice. I'm just trying to cherish these days while we can because I know the colder temperatures are coming up soon. Days are getting shorter, temperatures will get colder. So I'm just gonna soak in these nice, beautiful temperatures. I'm gonna soak in this rain. But hopefully we'll get some more rain today and then we'll see how this overflow works. It's gonna be tricky. Crew, of course, is picking the best time to go out. <laughs> it's coming down now. We're about to find out whether this overflow works or not. <laughs> it's gushing now. Look at that. All that water going in there. Nice. Plus any water trickling in from the uh, barrel cement gutter. We should be getting a lot more water in there now. It's overshooting a little bit, but I think we're getting more into the cistern. Quick fix. Waste not, want not. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is a beautiful, wet, muddy morning. <laughs> But let me take you over here. Let's see how much rain we actually got. Look at this, about almost a half an inch, maybe about 0.4 inches, but all the plants have got dew on it. It's a, it's a beautiful sight. Look at this, we got more grass growing in our garden than uh, just about anything else. <laughs> That's okay, I'll take something growing in there. All right, with that decent rain we had yesterday, I'm gonna go check out the water level in the cistern. Yuvi, you, you gonna check out the water level with me? Okay, maybe not. Uh, 
How much is in there? Seventeen inches. So more than the last time I put a dipstick in, but not quite two feet yet. I think with the addition of those extra pipes, I think we'll be getting a lot more water into the cistern. So let's uh, calculate that total and see what that is. So we've been treating Yuvia for her eye. You know, we took her to the vet and we started off with these eye drops. This is what we got from the vet the first time. And we were able to do it for like, how many times were we able to do it? Like a few times. A few times. We got a few drops in there. We kind of had to trick her though. And, but she's a smart dog and she eventually caught on to what we were doing. And she did not like the eye drops at all. And eventually she just straight up refused, right? She would not let that anywhere near her face. So obviously these weren't working. I talked to the vet. They gave us uh, some pills we could try and those worked out way better. We we're able to kind of give one in the morning with her breakfast. Here you go. And it's gone. And then kind of one in the evening where we do like a treat bonanza. So we give her a bunch of treats at the end of the day. And Jess was nice enough to put one of the pills inside the treat. She kind of made a mashup thing. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -mm -mm. And uh, that worked really well because she just scarfed that down. She doesn't even like, she didn't even know there was a pill in there, right? Because she didn't chew. She just <laughs> swallows it. Can I get a pound? Oh, it's a good girl. Here's a big one. <laughs> she just she just downs that thing like nothing. Treat bonanza. <laughs> Treat bonanza. <laughs> and that's it. She's got all the pills. And she likes pepperoni. Don't you like pepperoni? And you like medicines? Oh, oh yeah, see, she remembers. She knows she remembers what that is. So, I think we're making improvements. I think her eyes looking better. Your eyes looking better? Here she is. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I think that was some inappropriate touching there. Uh, <laughs> so this monsoon season's been crazy, hasn't it? Yeah, a lot of rain. So much rain that we've kind of had to like shunt it off into other areas and kind of dealing with the overflow. So the last time we checked the depth of the water depth of the cistern, we had about, a, what was it, about a foot, right? Here we're now at 17 inches. So that's about 2,400 gallons. That's just from our excess. Water is not going directly into the cistern from the roof. So that is excess from whatever rain falls on the top of the cistern and whatever rain was like coming from the poly tanks. Since we're drawing water from the poly tanks right now and we're not drawing anything from the cistern, just that whatever is overflowing from those poly tanks goes in there and the little bit that's falling on top of the cistern roof. Now, I think us not really finishing the top of the cistern, it's not really set up to like utilize all the water that falls on top of the cistern. Yeah, you can see the dips at the top of the cistern where there's just pools of water and that just sits there till it evaporates. Eventually we'll have to kind of work on that a little bit more and get that a little bit more efficiently. But with the addition of those pipes and kind of changing things around like that, 
I really think uh, we'll be able to get a lot more of that overflow and we'll be able to fill this up a lot quicker. Unfortunately, we're nearing the end of the monsoon, but just looking around, I mean, there's still chances for quite a bit more rain. So maybe we'll do another check toward the end of the monsoon season and see what we get. Yeah. But I know a lot of people have been asking, so we wanted to kind of check it out now, see where it's at. And I think with this uh, addition, with the change to those little overflow pipes, uh, I think we're gonna catch a lot more of that excess. Mm -hmm. What our poly tanks hold, about 4,000 gallons, right? Both Together, tanks. about 4,500. 4,500. So I'm wondering, like, by the time we're ready to use the water from the cistern, do you think we'll have, like, at least that much? Oh, uh, like in the cistern? Yeah. Yeah, we could. But, but the cool thing is, like, for sure, it's over that, that outlet pipe. I was afraid that we'd kind of lose water there, like, if everything wasn't sealed right. But yeah, it looks I, like there's no leaks. So. Yeah, so that's that's a relief. This monsoon has been just amazing so far. Everything's so green and lush. And of course, I've been dealing with some of that greenness and some of that lushness. We'll talk about that in the next video. Yeah, we'll bring you guys along for any more crazy rains we get. All right, until the next video, y'all. Bye.